Hello friends, welcome to Android for Dev channel. And today we are going to create one Kotlin application in Android Studio. In today's video, I will show you how you can create one Kotlin project for developing Android application in Android Studio. So let's get started. So here you can see the first screen in the Android Studio when you will uh, when you will start the Android Studio and click on the start new project you will see this screen on your desktop so here you can see uh, there are multiple options to to, to start with the Android project uh, but uh, there is some basic activity bottom navigation view fragmented view model these all are the pre-built templates uh, as you can see there are the lots of uh, there are already lots of options for uh, starting with the Android application as uh, we are, uh, you can create some VR application here uh, TV automotive and Android the uh, Android things for phone and tablet so today we are going to create one phone and fun one phone applications so uh, I prefer to choose this empty activity whenever I start with the new project so just select the empty activity and next okay so here uh, you have to fill all this information the first will be your application name so uh, we are going to uh, going to develop one uh, one simple hello world application today so hello world Kotlin okay let, let's this is a package name uh, this is very important uh, actually uh, you can search your application based on your package name also on play stores uh, for example as, as you can see the facebook has the package name as condor facebook of katana so you can see this application here if you uh, if you click on a facebook you can see the package name here also so uh, package name is very much important uh, so always give a good packet name to your application and or you can say the relevant packet name to your application before you start any project so here the packet name is good uh, now the save location this we will look later on uh, so here here is a Kotlin and Java two options for you uh, before this uh, and uh, in JetBrains ha JetBrains has not included Kotlin in Android Studio we need to add extra plugin from the plugin option in Android Studio but now it is good now JetBrains, JetBrains is providing us Kotlin from the start so uh, I have already uh, by default the Kotlin will be selected because as I told you in previous uh, previous video that uh, in Google I.O. Uh, Google has announced that uh, now the Kotlin will be the first preference for uh, developing Android applications so uh, Kotlin is by default selected here you can select the minimum version of the SDK uh, 18, uh, 19, 91, 98.1 percent apps uh, a mobile phone will be covered in this uh, for 26, 60.8 percent uh, device will be covered this so as low as it will be good I prefer with let's go with 18 API level here they are giving you the use legacy Android or support library option also uh, right uh, in recently the Android X has been launched if you want to use the legacy libraries not the Android X libraries then you can choose this but I prefer always with uh, I prefer that too. you should always start with uh, Android X if you are going to create a new project so this is just some old legacy libraries which has been now transfer into the Android X architecture see this the view view uh, view model concept architecture life cycles Android architecture life cycles whom all things are now moved to the Android X so I always prefer to use Android X now so I, we are not going to pick this one and this is for the project location and yes it's fine so you can uh, give the project location from here now let's click on the finish So you, as you can see, yeah, the project is now creating. It will take some time based on your internet speed also, of course. Okay, so it's done now. This is a, this is a simple project. We can what we can do is now just click on the run app application. 
you can run the application from here here is your list of emulators i will show you in uh, that how you can create one new emulator in in next videos so here is my emulator so just to to see how the world application uh which i want to show you uh this is this code is whole in kotlin as you can see fine uh, uh in the main activity you can see that uh, in the java we have to do the, the uh, we have to do find view by id when we have the text hello world but in the kotlin we don't need to do that because kotlin synthetic provide all these things right see this kotlin synthetic synthetic group so it, it will automatically take automatically take the uh, text view from the layout file automatic bind the text view with the activity from the layout file and so let's change the text let's run it again and see it's gets changed so now uh, that's that's it for today uh, we are going to learn some new methods in kotlin in next video thank you for watching this please 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 subscribe to this channel uh, i'm going to regularly upload uh, upload videos on in this channel regarding the kotlin in next next video we will start with the basic coding in the kotlin thank you for watching this bye